Simon and Richter are two of the brand new additions to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. They're a pretty cool bunch too, you know, just throwing whips and fighting vampires and all. They've got some of the best range that Smash Bros. has ever seen, great projectiles and a pretty unique moveset. All around, he's a very cool addition. However, some people kind of have an issue with this character. I guess some people think he can be annoying? And like, I, I mean, I guess I see it, you know, like, maybe a little bit. Just a little. Forward tilt can be a pretty <laughs> tilting move sometimes. It's quick and it's got range. So if you miss, throw it out again. I see I missed my forward tilt. It'd be a shame if I just did it again. It's also a good poke move. And honestly, the sound it makes just kind of makes me giggle a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're into kinky whip stuff, which I'm sure you probably already are, then you need no reasons to already use this character. But for everyone else, let's talk about his range. Yeah, that. If they're in your general area, then you're most likely gonna reach them. Like, when I was playing, I didn't even hit this move, but when I saw him even need to parry that, I was like, wow, that's a little bit ridiculous, wouldn't you say? The best part is that if you're a scared little introvert and don't like human confrontation, then you don't even have to worry about it with this character. In this clip, I managed to pressure Dark Pit to the moon and back without ever even being close to his hitboxes. Fun! Also, have I ever mentioned that his forward tilt is okay? Another great thing about him is that if you're ever just really sexually attracted to matching the B button and thus are unable to remember the rest of the buttons, then using these characters are just a great match. Sorry Incineroar, but if you want to compete with me then you're going to need to get a lot faster and gain a projectile. Oh, and maybe ask Sakurai for a recovery. Now one common thing that Simon and Richter may inflict onto the opponents is major amounts of salt. You'll experience this a lot. However, since cats are inferior to humans, you don't even need to worry about this. HA! TAKE THAT! YOU'VE NEVER EVEN BEEN GOOD AT THIS GAME! As the late Chester Bennington would say, he tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, your recovery is garbage. This clip has no relevance to this video, I just really want to know what this crawl is. I know I've mostly used Richter in this video so far, but you gotta make sure you show Simon at least a little bit of love as well. After all, technically, that's the actual character here, but Richter has blue flames and Simon just has that normal orange flame. I prefer the edgy flames. I want to be edgy. Also, my hair is edgier. Ooh, edgy. See, now this is why Smash Ultimate is so great. In what other games would you see such worlds collide where you can watch Conan the Barbarian and Davy Jones duke it out on the same stage? The best part about this character is their recovery. Like, I honestly love just being constantly gunned by this stupid little kid. Screw you, Lucas! At least my mom loves me! I have no joke for this clip. All I want you to know is that I went for the style and I sacrificed my life in the process. So, just so everyone knows, always go for the gold. One of the most important moves in the entire moveset is their little Jesus Boomerang Cross thing. Unlike my happiness, this always comes back to hit my opponent. This move understands real friendship, and it will always be by your side no matter what. Even in some situations where the boomerang was actually detrimental and caused me to get punished, it will always make up for its mistakes and hit them afterwards. Thank you, Jesus Boomerang Cross. You're my hero. See, now I have multiple issues with this. These characters should never be dittoed, let alone with five stocks in three minutes. What kind of sick game are you playing here, Zack? Even Snake and Richter, not a good idea. With matchups like these, it's always going to be who has the least amount of patience and finally decides to get this over with. Luckily for me, I have been single for six years and haven't killed myself, so I have a lot of patience. I know technically none of this was a combo, but when you're using a character like this, this might be the best you're going to get. I don't really know what to call this, but for now, we're just going to have to call it the Jesus Gimp. It may not look very practical, but I somehow managed to get this more than once, so I'll take it. It may be a pretty unoriginal name, but sometimes you don't have to go big, because Jesus should be the one and only thing in your life. Have I mentioned that he has really good range? Ah, there's nothing quite like throwing out moves constantly, complete safety from yards away and then clapping fools in the process. If you ever wanted to know how to tame a wild Diddy Kong, then here you go. The first thing to do is lightly tap him with your whip to make him submit to your ways. If that doesn't work, well then STRONGLY TAP HIM WITH YOUR WHIP! Now, you should have a cute little monkey companion by your side. Simon and Richter are just a pretty cool set of characters and they have a lot going for them, so I thought that this video would be pretty necessary just to show off some of the best things about them, and... I think it went pretty well. If you think in the future that you want me to roast any of your characters, because all of your characters suck, I can guarantee you, and they're all dumb. If that's the case, then let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make another one of these and uh, ruin your life as well. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, 
and like and subscribe this video and do the notifications thing. Okay, thanks. Bye.